Hey guys. So, we're at Central Japan International Airport. We're about to enter parking area one. Parking area one is a series of these multi-story car parks. However, there's this series of orange bollards here that are stopping us getting to the car parks. So, this is the Friday before Golden Week. So, this is not a busy day at Centre. This is a normal day at Centre. However, Starting from the Saturday, it's Golden Week. It's going to be really, really busy. So they are always doing odd stuff like this when it's getting into busy periods in Japan. So we've driven all the way through parking area one. We can't get to any of the car parks, as you can see. The bollards are stopping us, right? <laughs> Instead of putting a sign at the entrance, they've let us come in, get a ticket, drive through parking area one unsuccessfully, Right. And now we're going to exit parking area one. So that was a fruitless exercise. So they're always doing odd things like this. We've had lots of experiences of Central Japan International Airport parking that have been like this in the past, where they'll close off areas. You get areas that will get over full and you can't find a space and they'll keep other areas and not let anybody in there. So, for example, in this case, parking area one was 95% empty. So now we've got to go to parking area two, which is really full. So there doesn't seem to be any benefit in doing this because the system's all automated so that you can see, when you look at the signs, you can see where there's spaces and where there aren't. So it's actually a very good automatic system if they just let it do its thing. But they're forever messing with it like this, and the result is often confusion and chaos and faffing. So you can see there, we can see which car parks have vacancies and which don't. Beautiful. And then we just drive up to the one that's got a vacancy. And as you go up each floor, it tells you which floor has a vacancy. So it's a very, very good system. If the, the dudes in suits just keep themselves out of the story, it would be a great system and it works really well on its own. <laughs> don't know why they do it. Every year, any busy period, they start messing with the system, closing off areas that don't need to be closed off, making it more complicated than it needs to be. Common thing in Japan, isn't it? It's what keeps some people employed. <laughs> anyway, there was that. More videos coming soon.